a word of encouragement from J.C. Philpott. Set up waymarks, make guideposts, set your heart towards the highway, even the way which you went. Turn again, O Virgin of Israel, turn again to these your cities. Jeremiah 31, 21. To look at the past is often a blessed encouragement for the future. If we are travellers in the way Zionward, we shall have our various waymarks, a conspicuous call, or a signal deliverance, or a gracious manifestation of Christ, a promise applied here, or a marked answer to prayer there, a special blessing under the preached word, a soft and unexpected assurance of an interest in the blood of the Lamb, a breaking in of divine light when walking in great darkness, a sweet sip of consolation in a season of sorrow and trouble, a calming down of the winds and waves without and within by. It is I, be not afraid. Such and similar waymarks it is most blessed to be able to set up as evidences that we are in the road. And if many who really fear God cannot set up these conspicuous waymarks, yet they are not without their testimonies equally sure if not equally satisfying. The fear of God in a tender conscience, the spirit of grace and of supplications in their breast, the cleaving to the people of God in warm affection, their love for the truth in its purity and power, their earnest desires, their budding hopes, their anxious fears, their honesty and simplicity making them jealous over themselves lest they be deceived or deluded, their separation from the world, their humility, meekness, quietness and general consistency, often put into shame, louder profession and higher pretensions. These and similar evidences mark many as children of God who cannot read their title clear to such a privilege and such a blessing. But whether the way marks be high or low, shining in the sun or obscure in the dawn, the Virgin of Israel is still bidden to set them up and to set also her heart towards the highway, even by the way by which she came.